Hello, my name is Janet McGraw, and I'll be doing a monologue from Jane Wagner's The Search for Signs of Intelligent Life in the Universe. Oh, before I forget, here's that article I Xeroxed for you all about boredom, remember? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, that's not it. That's my suicide note. <laughs> this is a my suicide note. It's a note I've been keeping because, uh, well, I, I found it and I can't get rid of it because, well, I, I don't know exactly. When I was in LA, I found this suicide note in the street where my exercise class is. I was saddened by what they'd written in the note, but I grew even more concerned when I realized that losing the note could only add to their feelings of low self-esteem. Further evidence that they could never do anything right. <laughs> So uh, for a while, I kept it in my wallet. And then I grew concerned. Well, uh, suppose something should happen. I should get hit by a car. I'd get knocked unconscious. The paramedics would come. They'd discover the note. They'd think it was mine, and they'd give it to Freddy. Well, it would seem rather strange that I just happened to be carrying someone else's suicide note. So I started keeping it at home in one of those uh, fireproof boxes with all my important papers. And then that same thought. Well, suppose something should happen, the note would be discovered and be given this great importance because it was with all my important papers. So I started moving the note around my house. Ronnie, I am becoming so forgetful that I was afraid I would misplace it. So I wrote myself a note telling me where the note was. So now I had the suicide note and a note telling me where the suicide note was hidden. So I thought it best just to be kept in my purse. Oh, but don't worry, I've written a note explaining the whole business. <laughs> Thank you.